Hey guys, today we will be reading John chapter 16, verses 16 through 24. Jesus went on to say, In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me. At this, some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean by saying, In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me? And because I am going to the Father? They kept asking, What does he mean by a little while? We don't understand what he's saying. Jesus saw that they wanted to ask him about this, so he said to them, Are you asking one another what I meant when I said, In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me? Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will turn to joy. A woman giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come. But when her baby is born, she forgets the anguish because of her joy that a child is born into the world. So with you. Now is your time of grief, but I will see you again and you will rejoice. And no one will take away your joy. And that day you will no longer ask me anything. Very truly I tell you, my father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. When I first read this passage, the verse that stood out to me was verse 20, which says, Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will turn to joy. This was right before Jesus was about to be crucified, and the disciples were so confused by what he was saying and what he meant. But they were the ones who followed him. They were the ones who talked to him. They were the ones who believed in him. So of course those are the ones that were gonna grieve while everyone else rejoiced because they didn't. the people who were rejoicing don't believe in him. As I read that, it made me think about how the joy that the world perceives it as is way different than what the joy that Jesus promises us is. Because the world's joy is more of a moment or a distraction of something while Jesus's joy is everlasting and through thick and thin it's always there no matter like how hard things can get he, it's always there like he says in verse 24 until now you have not asked anything asked for anything in my name ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete this is not saying that they can just ask them for anything and we can get what we want but it's more of a conversation he wants to have that relationship with us so when we pray and we read our bibles and we try to understand him and how he lived and his story then he promises us promises us that everlasting life because he wants to be with us and he wants us to believe in him and follow him and believe his word